Hey Statesman Nation, it's Bella McCullough. It's time to sit down, relax, and have coffee with a statesman. Today, our guest is someone really awesome, really impressive. Um, she's our representative for the heart for the um, the AO Dewar Award. Um, she is an NAIA and heart scholar athlete, a four-year letter, letter winner. We have Miss Corinne Lepper. Hello. How Thanks are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thanks for having me. Well, Corinne, thank you so much for being on today. It's really cool to have such an inspirational player, especially, like, with how much you've done and how long you've been here, just out here, like, being so cool and being... Are you a fifth-year senior now? Yeah, I am. Awesome. And so, what's your major? Biology. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, are you looking... What are you looking to do with that? I want to be a dietitian. <gasps> yeah. That's dope. Yeah, okay. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. And I think you're a men- member of Kinesiology Club, correct? Yes, I am. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I think I did my research right this time. Nice. So, um, <laughs> why Penn? Uh, well, it's actually kind of funny. So I, my first initial visit was Central Methodist and I was like, oh, I'm in love. I want to go here really bad. Like the head coach there was my club coaches in high school. And I'm really glad I ventured out because I just had like a lot of other like options I wanted to look at. And William Penn was actually my last visit and I absolutely loved it. Really? I commi- I verbally committed that day. Like, oh my that God. I came. So yes. that was like, yeah, <laughs> it was a big sell. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah. I think I just probably one of the best decisions of my life. I love Oskaloosa. Mm-hmm. I love this town. I've been here a long time and just it's really paid off. So, Yeah. So when you made that visit, origi- so your original visit, you thought you were going to go to Central Methodist. Where, mm-hmm. where is Central Methodist? It's in Fayette, Missouri. Okay. Which I'm from Jefferson City, Missouri. And so that mm-hmm. was only about an hour away from where I'm from. So that was already a big seller, but yeah. Penn, so Penn was just different when you went on yeah. your visit. What really stood out to you on um, that? So I was Coach Cleaver's very first recruit, and Coach Cleaver was definitely oh the person that stood out to me. I just loved, like, her demeanor and, like, her confidence, and mm-hmm. she really instilled a lot of confidence in me. I give a lot of credit to her for that. Yeah. And I also liked that William Penn was farther away. I was actually looking to go a little farther away. I didn't really want to go to school in Missouri, so, yeah. That's so cool, especially because Cleaver is now the head coach again, correct? No. Um, she's the new assistant new AD. New assistant yeah. AD. I always get mixed up. There were so many different volleyball mm-hmm. changes, but that's really cool that she's still here in that capacity and she was able to coach you and now she's able to help overlook a pr- your program, oh, yeah. overlook everything. That's so awesome. Yeah. And she's awesome. Like, I'm so happy for her. She deserved that whole ro- that role and I know that's what she wanted to do. So Yeah, really but I think her. it's still nice she's a part of your journey. Mm-hmm. And so how long have you been playing volleyball? I've been playing volleyball since I was in fourth grade. <laughs> so I'm trying to do the math there. So you've been in – so you're fifth year senior, mm-hmm. so that would have been – 13 years? No, that's not the right math. I, I will figure think. this out eventually. <laughs> Count um, on my she's been playing for a long time. We'll get there. Um, so you've been playing volleyball since fourth grade. When you were in high school, how did that, like, where was the decision you wanted to play in college? When, what drove you to want to play in college? Uh, well, it's kind of funny because I actually, compared to all my other friends, I kind of started a little later with things yeah. because I played basketball in high school and I was actually a lot better at basketball oh, than I was really? volleyball. Yeah, and you I got dual sport up Yeah. <laughs> And I liked basketball a lot more. And then I started club. So I quit basketball so I could play club volleyball because yeah. I started to like volleyball more. Yeah. And so that's club is really where I, like, developed more as a player mm-hmm. and got a lot, like, of connections with coaches. My junior year of college – or high school, I actually didn't even want to play volleyball in college. Really? Like, I had really bad um, patellar tendinitis. And yeah. I think that's just – that's actually when I started to get a lot more into fitness and nutrition was mm-hmm. I was realizing, like, what I was putting in my body and that, like, I wasn't strength training the way I should be for my sport. Yeah. And so that's when I got really into that because going into senior year, I was, like, dead set. I was, like, okay, like, I'm on this, like, health journey. I love going to the gym. I love eating healthy. Yeah. I know I want to be a college athlete. And so that's kind of when it started and just mm-hmm. kind of got into that recruiting process a lot more. So your recruiting process, you finished, you started really late in the game. Like, yeah, a incredibly bit. late. Um, <laughs> not in a bad way, but like, so y- most of the D1s have already picked their like, yeah. top picks. Mm-hmm. Was NAIA your first choice or what was um, your, what was, what were you looking for? I had a lot of junior colleges looking at me and that was kind of like a route I didn't really want to go. I yeah. think it's extremely, Juco's s- dope. yeah, it's extremely smart. I think it's a great option, especially like if you want to save some money. Yeah. Um, NAIA though, I'd had like William Penn, I had no clue like what William Penn was. I didn't know what Same. NAIA was. And so when I came and then, um, CMU, obviously that's kind of when yeah. I got introduced to the NAIA mm-hmm. and then I know a lot of people say it's pretty comparable to D2 schools yeah. and stuff like that. And so we can hang in there yeah, with them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And yeah, and like me, I'm not a big person on like, oh, I need to go D1, blah, blah, blah. Because yeah. like, personally, I don't think I like have the skill set to go yeah. D1, which is totally fine. Mm-hmm. But like NAI, I think is a great fit for me and like my skill set. So that's yeah. dope. Yeah. yeah. So for most people, NAI, um, that's not their normal, mm-hmm. not, that, not saying it's not their first choice, but that's typically the one that people don't notice as much because mm-hmm. it's either Juco or Bust or yeah. D1 or yeah. Bust. <laughs> and I think it's really cool that you were introduced to that. Mm-hmm. 
during your recruiting journey and you're able to look at a bunch of different schools that match what you needed and what they needed. I think that's really dope. So how has going to William Penn affected your life? It's affected me in the best way possible. Go into hi In high school, I was just a volleyball athlete. Like I never, didn't really have any other identity yeah. outside of volleyball. And so whenever I got to William Penn, that was like my main goal was just to get involved. And yeah. I'm so happy that I did. You got really involved. <laughs> yeah. You've been so busy. <laughs> yes, I have. And I just, it's really paid off. I'm the president of Campus Activities Board so as well. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't. And I just, I love it. Like my schedule sometimes gets a little hectic. I'm like, oh, my, what am I doing to myself? Yeah. But I absolutely love it. Love it. And I've met so many other people just like outside of volleyball too. And mm -hmm. I think that's really important to just have that identity outside of like playing your sport totally you do the most like I'm on <laughs> ASA as a freshman that's terrifying and you've been on it how many years now as a fr I started as a freshman like okay my, um, spring of my freshman year yeah so like you have went from like literally hit the ground running and mm -hmm. that's so cool because like from what I've looked at you have done so much like member of kinesiology club you're like pre you're president of cab do you do any what else do you do what like what else is part of that identity um i'm also in kinesiology club um with asa the thing that i have been really like striving for is fueling station yes. so this summer we kind of started um like a little mm -hmm. test run of it and the athletes really loved it and right now we're just waiting for it, um sga to give us like our budget request and hopefully they'll approve it they better yeah i'm, I'm just saying <laughs> i'm I mean, excited with axel as president yes kinda for need. sure and he was my vice president in cab so like yeah. we know each other pretty well yeah and i know eli hero as he's the treasurer and mm -hmm. so we've talked about it and madison lance she's just been great with mm -hmm. the whole thing she's really helped so is coach hannah and it's just a good opportunity like especially since i want to be a dietitian it's after all the athletes work out they can go grab a snack it's great for a resume too yes, because yeah. you're adding on you're like i mm -hmm. want to be a dietitian this is what i've done for yeah. my campus to show that i want to be serving these people in this kind of way i think that's really good for um just in general, like looking like towards your future. Yeah, for sure. So just for context, because uh, again, most people don't always know. So SGA is Student Government Association. CAB mm -hmm. is? Campus Activities Board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So real quick, just thought I'd add. So on that building your identity, you do a lot of things outside of volleyball and you do volleyball. What really like, what at Penn helped you form that otherwise? Like what really built who you are? Uh, I really just want to give credit to just like the people around me. Yeah. I think if I... My per like who I am now, if I looked back at who I was a junior in high school, completely different person. Yeah. I think like my mindset has just grown so much. And Coach Cleaver, Nick Rule, like even so our coach now, Coach Eldridge, she was my GA my freshman and sophomore year. Yeah. And I want to give a lot of credit to her because she's just helped so much. Like I just love her, like mm -hmm. the way she carries herself. And I really just think it's like the people I've surrounded myself with have really helped me grow. I think that's so well said, especially like you're coming into college, like most people are coming in like brand new start and mm -hmm. I think you really made the most of that and like for your five years here that's insane how much you've done <laughs> how much you put into this thank you so you've been on the team for five years how do what is your journey at William Penn for volleyball looked like what is like where'd you start and where are you now uh, where I started I came in as a freshman and I me and this other girl were the only two freshmen on varsity and so I had mm -hmm. a pretty big role coming in and like my freshman and sophomore year I pretty much just like kind of relied on like my talent and mm -hmm. But I've really grown mentally. Like, my yeah. mental game was not as strong as my physical game. And mm -hmm. so, like, now junior, senior, and then, like, super senior year, I've really grown in that, like, leadership yeah. role, which I just enjoy so much because my – looking back at my mentality, it's so much stronger now. Like, oh, definitely. I realize that um, my men like my mental side can carry so me so much farther than my physical side. And totally. So and I, I think – yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're good. I, I have a tendency of cutting people off. That's mm -hmm. my apology. No, but you're fine. With your mental game, did having COVID in the middle of your school years really affect that? Like, did, was that kind of like awake, <laughs> an awakening for you? Oh, for sure. And oh, yeah. Junior year definitely just did not go the way I had planned. I, um, like, besides COVID, I actually, I didn't even play half the season. I probably played, like, 10 to 15, like, 10 games because I sprained my ankle so bad. So I was pretty much out for my, like, the last yeah. half of my junior year. And so mm -hmm. I think going into my senior year, I just had so, like, many expectations for myself and I think mentally last year I would just get so upset if I didn't uh, like achieve that yeah. and so now it's just like my mentality is just go out there and play volleyball just be free like yeah it's your last time so just kind of just do whatever you got to do to help the team out that's such cool growth like mm -hmm. literally starting out like that especially because like I personally as an athlete COVID was a huge change mm -hmm. for me I'm like if I can't play this sport what can I do to support it yeah but that's so interesting so when you went through that mindset this past year as a just as a senior. What like made you realize later in the season and coming into this year that your mindset needed to change? 
Uh, I think just before every game, I was just like, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need mm -hmm. to do that. And, like, that's just, like, in the reality of, it, re reality of it, that's just, like, not really how a game works, you know? Like, yeah. you never know, like, who you're going to play. Like, yeah, we watch film and stuff, but I think it's just taking one game at a time is kind of what I need to do. It's like, yeah. I'm not going to play the way I did the last game. I'm not going to play the way I did two years ago, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. And so it's just literally just taking it one point at a time and just doing what I can for the team. It's, like, looking all about, like, not me personally. It's just, like, about the big picture, you know? Like, I want to be yeah. there for my team, not there for myself. So, like, you threw away the expectations mm -hmm. you were putting on yourself, and yeah. you're like, what can I do to mm -hmm. better my team, and yeah. what can I do to better in the moment? I think that's such an important thing for young athletes, mm -hmm. especially because the pressure has risen. Like, especially in the past couple of years, the stu like, we're getting better. People are expecting mm -hmm. way more of student athletes, and I think that's a huge thing to be thinking about. So being on the team for five years, you have seen and you have done some stuff with that team. They are so fun. Love the energy of the mm -hmm. volleyball team. They are one of the most electric teams on campus. What is your favorite memory? With that, with the girls. Oh gosh. Well, I definitely have to say we beat Grandview last year, yeah. and like that was awesome. Definitely, don't get me wrong. We ups. Well, I, I don't even want to say it's an upset. Like I think we. I you think just all beat of them. You're yeah, just I think better than them. Yeah, I think all along like we definitely could have beaten them. They're just that's just definitely like an emotional game since they're like yeah. our rivals and stuff, and they are always like a very talented team. That'd probably be my favorite one. My, I don't know. Like my other favorite memory is I've met like my best friends. I have three like three or four really really good friends and like we're all gonna be in like each other's weddings and Aww. stuff and so that's awesome because I got engaged in December and so thank you thank you and so yeah. three of the girls that I've met at William Penn they're all my, my bridesmaids so it's just that's awesome. so yeah. sweet <laughs> I think those connections are amazing so like you guys travel a lot for games what was like your favorite memory on the road like what was like your oh favorite gosh. thing <laughs> yeah we're good we are a goofy bunch and it's just like singing karaoke on the way there yeah. is so fun that's and a must yeah for sure and like we just like jam out to like Katy perry and stuff like that mm -hmm. and in the hotel rooms it's super fun at night we mm -hmm. just like like talk and like watch movies and just building that connection like i don't think you realize at the time that like oh we're just you know on the road but it really makes our team stronger oh because totally. you'll miss it you know yeah. like when i'm done in two months i'm gonna be like dang i really miss it's that two months yeah oh my god <laughs> yeah so since you're almost done with your your collegiate career, what do you want to do after? What's the plan? Do you want to continue coaching volleyball in any capacity? Like, are you going to go for your master's? What's the whole plan there? Uh, so I want to get my master's. Mm -hmm. My master's would start next August. Um, I wanna, I'm want i looking into University of Central Missouri. Oh, yeah, so that's yeah. Warrensburg, Warrensburg, Missouri. And so I would get my um, – since I want to be a dietitian, you have to do an accredited internship. Yeah. And so I can do my accredited internship and get my master's at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm definitely going to be busy. I, I'm actually going to stay here in Oskaloosa after – uh, I'm done because my fiance he works at Cargill here. He has like a salary job and everything. He's a lab, oh, he's nice. a lab chemist. He's a smart, smart guy. Smart, <laughs> yeah. smart, smart. He's we appreciate. Smart guy. And so just kind of stay here a little bit longer. I definitely like long term. I love Oskaloosa, but I would much rather want to live in a bigger city. That's kind of like my dream. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna get married next August as well. So I'll start my That's master's so and exciting. get married. Yeah. And so just work as much as I can just to save up some money and stuff mm -hmm. like that for. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. no coaching in the future, just like... I don't know, I, I like coaching, I've helped coach, coach club, I helped, um, I did individuals all summer with uh, Ashley Wagman's daughter, she works in the business office, I don't know if you know who that is. Ashley Wagman, uh, she does financials, right? Yeah, she, oh, yeah, you've yeah. probably seen She's her. She's got the cat. Yes, Maggie, She's got Maggie yeah, the she cat. Maggie, okay, yeah. I was and like, so, I know this yeah. woman, I cannot think of her name though, yes, yeah, totally, I, that's awesome. Yeah, and I, I enjoyed it, I really enjoyed it, and um, the girl I coach, she's just awesome, so mm -hmm. I think it's just really fun to see, like, help people, like, from what I've learned, help them like, yeah, learn you're that and grow. Sport. Yeah. So over the summer, like, what is your training? I'm curious because, mm -hmm. like, we you, were, you mentioned coaching over the summer. As an athlete, we get summer workout packets, but what do you do on top of that? Like, what's your typical, like, how am I going to get better? What can I do to get reps kind of? Okay, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so I, this is my third summer. I've stayed here three summers in a row just because I want to utilize the strength staff. And Hannah, Coach Hannah, she's amazing. She's done a great job. And I think it's just important because going home, don't get me wrong, like my f going to my sophomore year, I went home and I worked out religiously. Like that was just like a part of my day. Like, hey, I want to work out. I want to get better. Yeah. But like being here, I think you just get the full experience. Like we do speed training, strength work, jump training yeah. and stuff like that. And just getting stronger. And then, because that was pretty much a typical day for me. It's like pretty much what I did all summer. I just mm -hmm. got up at six, went to lifting, went to work. And then usually I would go. I would I take my dog to the dog park and then I would go yes, um, go to the pack and just do like you, it's kind of hard to play volleyball but with yourself but I was yeah. pretty lucky I had Keegan she's on the team she stayed with me this summer oh awesome and so we would go all the time and we would we did 
pretty much the same thing. We do self toss, like work on like um, getting on top of the ball. Mm-hmm. We did serving. We did passing. Even though like we're middles, we probably won't pass a lot, but that's fine. Still gotta be good at yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and we just worked on like ball control stuff, and that was just really fun to have someone else there with you and kind of holding you accountable. That's so. nice. Yeah. And just like little reps like that, they really make a big difference. Like even blocking footwork, you don't even need a ball for that, and just yeah. like just work on yeah, repeated yeah. movement like, is really important. Speaking of like different movements, what mm-hmm. what's your favorite drill that you do with the team? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm trying to think. Probably, this is really, like, generic, but queens. We play queens a lot, which is just really fun. So what is queens? Uh, so it's, you have, there's, so there's always, the setters stay, but you have three on each side. So it's, like, three on three. Mm-hmm. And if you're on the, like, queen side, you stay on because you want to stay on. So like, it's like king of the court. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And so it's just fun. And it's nice because, like, you can play pretty much any position besides mm-hmm. setter, obviously. Like, you get a pass and swing from the back row or the front row and not just, like, in the middle for me. Like, mm-hmm. I can do a little other thing because I, I love playing middle but I've played other positions as well yeah so. you got to be versatile yeah that's yep. the thing mm-hmm. yeah so you like queens what's your least favorite drill oh, I'm gonna I'm asking the hard-hitting questions no, here good. I know I'm trying to think that's really hard probably when we do we do like wash drills which it's um we have six on six and so it's like one side will have a free ball and if you get that ball you get a down ball if you get that that point you get a serve receive in and so it's it's hard with those drills because our team is so competitive like we have so much talent it's hard to get those drills against each other yeah. you know what I mean like one side isn't just gonna like completely dominate the other things side things like, get heated yes. you're like back and forth after <laughs> yeah. like the sixth rep you're like yeah I need a minute yeah for sure <laughs> yeah so that's like I love the energy on that team. Mm-hmm. It seems so competitive. Yes. You guys are always out there. You're always cheering. Actually, on my visit, I watched you guys play. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't remember who you, I think it was Mercy. I watched okay. you guys play Mercy, and I was like, it was just so electric, and it was so cool. That team seems to mean a lot to each other. Yeah. Like, what does your team mean to you? Uh, honestly, everything. Coming in as a freshman, the team – uh, was like full of a lot of seniors so I was just kind of oblivious to like the team dynamic before like I had gotten there and like mm-hmm. since coach Cleaver was new I think it's definitely like it's just been so much better every single year and yeah. like this year it's just so exciting in my opinion I think all the girls that are here they want to be here they want to mm-hmm. play volleyball they want to get better and I think that's awesome especially like the freshmen we've had these freshmen come they're in so good. yes they're so good and they're so re- like resilient they just want to play volleyball and I think that's awesome yeah like, we just get along really well and it's really fun like yeah. we just we love genuinely talking to mm-hmm. each other and being around each other so yeah so being here for five years how did you help build that culture now that you're a senior you're like a leader on that team how mm-hmm. what did what do you do personally and what do you try and be cognizant of to help build that culture oh yeah definitely I just being as positive as I can because I think positivity and being kind goes a very very long way mm-hmm. I'm kind of the person on the team that people can just go to and talk to if they need yeah. advice it doesn't even have to be about volleyball but like just in general yeah and I love being in that role like I love that people look up to me and like confide in me I think that's really yeah. important to have someone on the team like that I think that says a lot about you because like there always needs to be that rock on the team and I think you really serve that and I think mm-hmm. a lot of people look to you for like look to you for that and I think that says a lot because even the schools recognize that and recognize yeah. your accomplishments. Mm-hmm. So do you want to talk more about the AO Doer Award? Yeah. What that me- means to you, how that process went for you? Mm-hmm. Uh, so the AO Doer Award is um, rewarded to someone who excels in athletics, um, character and citizenship and mm-hmm. I whenever I found out that I was the nominee yeah. I was just kind of stoked because it just it is nice to see that hard work yeah like kind of show off because I am involved with a lot in a lot and definitely being not, a student no. athlete like, don't do anything you know? <laughs> and so <laughs> it's just nice to see yeah. like what I'm doing like means something because it means a lot to me yeah. and I just like I'm glad that it means a lot to other people as well and so, so how did that selection process work so what went through for that decision to be made for you um I, so I only knew about it because Wade um, Steinlogge, he yeah. emailed me saying that I was the nominee. So I'm not too sure, like, how I got nominated. I'm sure just, like, within the heart, like, yeah. our, like, people at William Penn. But I had to have, um, I think, I believe I had to write about, like, why I was a good candidate. And then I needed, I think, five letters of recommendation. Yeah. And so. That's always nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> I, whenever I had letters of rec written for me, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I hope they wrote something nice. Yeah, Even though they're, like, sure. writing a letter of rec, I'm just like. That's super exciting, mm-hmm. though. So after being nominated for the heart, what comes after that? Uh, so I'm not now I'm nominated since I won the heart for the national award, mm-hmm. and so I'll find out if I won that on September 15th, and if I win, I get a thousand dollars towards future Ooh. schooling. So that'd be Fingers awesome. Fingers crossed. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. I think it's cool too for William Penn, especially. Mm-hmm. Like we have statesmen here doing the most. It's like the coolest like place to be. To be yeah, honest, like I agree. <laughs> you you've been here for a while. Mm-hmm. I'm like new here, and I'm like already feeling like how cool that is. So, yeah. 
other than the fueling stations, like just kind of talking about what you've done on campus, what else have you worked towards like for William Penn? Um, ASA, we've done a lot. Yeah. We, CJ, he's the president, and mm -hmm. Madison Lance, she's our advisor. Both of them have just done a great job, especially Madison, like kind of building our yeah. ASA up. Like we're very well known in the heart, and mm -hmm. I give so much credit to her and Nick. Um, just like we do, we've done a lot of volunteering around um, yeah. the community, and uh, Coach Cleaver as well. She's kind of stepped into a role, mm -hmm. like not even it's not involved in ASA, but she's a sim senior women's administrator director or something like that. And so <laughs> we've gone to like the nursing homes, yeah. we, and like kinesiology club. We've also done a lot of volunteering. We've done like picking up yards, people's yards yeah. and stuff. And so just like kind of small things, like working at food banks and stuff. Yeah, and I think that's really cool. People in the community really appreciate it. I yeah. And like, just cause like William Penn is a big part of this community. So mm -hmm. yeah. So kind of moving away from athletics mm -hmm. and kind of focusing, cause you are a student athlete. We yeah. gotta, we gotta talk about the student and student athlete. Mm -hmm. Um, what led you to doing biology? Was it kind of starting with all the health stuff you focused on in high school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause um, I wanted to. Be, I thought I wanted to be a teacher up until oh. I was a junior in high school, which I think is funny now. Looking back, I would never want to be a teacher yeah. now. Um, but I took. Um, I think that's kind of when it started. When junior year, I took um, athletic training, and we oh, also learned yeah. a little bit about nutrition. I was like, wow, this is like really interesting. And then I also realized that I was eating really bad. <laughs> I used to eat really bad. Me and my friends like that's just what we did for fun. We just go out to eat. And yeah, stuff. you gotta get food. Yeah, Grubble. but that's kind of like when it clicked for me. I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. And then I got a lot into like lifting and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, so when I first came to William Penn, I was an exercise science major. Yeah. Um, but then I changed to biology, and I got a minor in chemistry because nutrition is all. It's a lot easier yeah. for, like, kilocalories and yes, all that. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's mostly chemistry. And so, and, like, it makes more sense. Like, being in exercise science, I did take a lot of other classes that were still cool, like exercise physiology and stuff. And that's helpful. Yes, because I do. I want to be a sports dietitian. Like, yeah. that's my, like, end so goal. Important. Yeah, so important. Yeah. So, yeah, I have, like, a good mix of a lot of classes. So it's helped me a lot. So being, wanting to be a sports dietitian. Where do you, what do you want to do with that? Like, do you want to like work in colleges? Do you want to work at your own practice? What's like the future plan for that? Uh, I would definitely want to work at a big college. Like my dream, like absolute dream job. If I could be like the sports dietitian for the Nebraska volleyball team, I would just cry. Mm -hmm. I'm such a big Husker fan. So yeah. Oh my God. That would be so cool. Yeah. Like I, I th genuinely think that'd be so cool. Mm -hmm. And like, I think where you're at right now is so awesome. So in order to be a sports dietitian, in order, in like your biology major, what are some of those core classes that have helped you for that towards your major? Um, biochemistry, genetics, biology, <laughs> microbiology. So it's just all science classes mostly. Yeah. Uh, organic chemistry. Women in STEM. Worst class ever. Never take it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <Organ> <laughs> it's so <Chems>. hard. <laughs> I love chemistry, but it stresses me yeah. out so badly. It's very hard. Because I feel like I'm never doing any right thing. Yeah. Right. I'm like, uh, I know <laughs> I this know. is right, but this doesn't seem right no, kind of no. thing. It was difficult. And it's funny is because, like, I'm a science major, but I'm so bad at math. Math is so, so hard. Yeah, it That's is hard. So valid. I wanted to be an engineer for the longest oh, time. Nice. I want to be a civil engineer. And then I realized I don't, I'm not good at math. I'm not. <laughs> it's hard. It's cool. I like the idea because yeah. it's good for someone else, not me. No, yeah, same. <laughs> no, yeah. So when you're getting ready to, like, when you're studying, when you're working towards those harder classes, what are some, like, tools that you really use to like better your like your grades and better oh, your yeah. like academics um, I use Quizlet for everything oh we love Quizlet yes I'm such a big flashcard person and yeah. I, that's kind of where I learned that is from organic chemistry so organic chemistry like when we're learning our reactions it's pretty much oh all memorization yeah. and so and I'm definitely just one of those people like I will sit there until I know it yeah I, I'm not going to go into a test not prepared because yeah. I will stress out <laughs> so definitely. it's just like flashcard 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 that's just what I do is how I focus, like study a little off topic but did you see Quizlet's charging now are they really? They're charging. It's oh. BS. I'm oh. sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that because I, I would take like the practice tests on yeah. there too and that helped me a lot. Like for more study skills, like you have to pay now. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, that's of inaccessible. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. But that's really cool. So you use flashcards to study. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, for other stuff, what are some study skills that you use? Oh, um, see, I'm just not, I'm not a big person. I don't just like go through a PowerPoint and take notes. No, like yeah. I take notes for sure, like yeah. to help me with my flashcards. Yeah. But I've done like research saying that flashcards is like one of the best ways to study. They, yeah. like they say like taking notes isn't Especially really, for like, rote memory. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I don't know, probably, uh, and reading like, I would actually normally for the chemistry classes, I would get the actual book and that it's actually so helped me. Yeah. That actually helped me a lot because Dr. North, uh, like great teacher, but like he can't put everything, you know, like in the chapter no, that we're yeah. learning. And I think that that's one thing I really liked about Dr. North is that he kind of challenged you as a student. Mm -hmm. He didn't want you to just know like, Obviously, yes, know what he's teaching, but he would kind of, like, try to challenge your brain, which I think yeah. is really smart, especially if you're, like, looking to go into a master's Yeah, shout program. out to Dr. North. Yeah. We stand. Love that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's dope. Um, when you're going into, like, 
So did you you have to do study tables, correct? Yeah. So like, what do you recommend for like freshmen and incoming like college students to like get better and mm-hmm. like work on how work on like their academic skills and work on their study skills? I think it's important to figure out a way to learn that you understand. Yeah. Um, I remember whenever I was taking like first chemistry classes and stuff, Dr. North, um, if I didn't really understand. What I would do is I would use my resources. So I would go on YouTube and I watched, um, he's called Organic Chem Teacher. And I know so exactly like, yes, what you're talking yes, about. Like yeah. I would just watch different videos to watch, to figure out ways that work for me. Because like yeah. the way that Dr. North might teach it might not make sense to me, but it might make sense to someone else. Yeah. And so I think that's important is that I know it can get really frustrating, especially mm-hmm. if you like don't have a lot of study skills. And yeah. So it's like, oh, it's easy to blame the teacher. Like he's such a bad teacher. I don't know what he's talking about. But like you also have to take into your own hands. Like, yeah. hey, I have so many other resources around me. I have, yeah. I have books. I have the internet, obviously. There's literally the study center yes like the student success <laughs> yes, center and definitely. that's such a big utilization thing yes. that you can use um, tutors are a good thing too. we love the tutors mm-hmm. i feel so bad like they normally don't get used yeah so i'm like come <laughs> on um but out of curiosity what's your favorite class you've taken here um probably exercise physiology yeah uh, professor nunez my favorite teacher in the world i love him he, yeah he was new this past year uh like last um year and he's just awesome he, 2021 2022. yeah yeah okay. he's just awesome and i think that's kind of where i've grown with like Obviously, like, I have a biology major, but that was an exercise science course, but I wanted to take it because yeah. it's something I'm really interested in about, like, the human body and how yeah. it works and stuff well, like that. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. Yeah, so we've gotten over your favorite class. Mm-hmm. Other than organic chem. Oh, okay. Not thinking about organic <laughs> no, chem. I was going to say organic chem. On, on the other <laughs> side, what is oh. your least favorite class? Probably trig. I did not. Ooh. I just don't like math. Like, I... I feel like I understand it and I can do it, but it's like when it comes to a test, I just don't know where to forget start. You, yeah. You forget. I yeah. love open book for math. Yeah. Math test with yeah. open book. I'm like, this is, so much this nicer. is right. This is, cause like, even if it's open note, mm-hmm. I'm like, I know what I have a guy. Yeah. I have like a example. It, yeah. So that's totally valid. So I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. We had so much homework online too. Like Ooh. all of our homework was online. And so it was, I don't, I think it was through Cengage. And so if it's like you did one thing wrong, like all of them were wrong. And I just was oh having a breakdown in my room probably like every night. I haven't <laughs> taken a math yet. Yeah. I'm an Eng- so you'll, do, I'm, you'll do great. I'm a new media lit in a, an mm-hmm. English major. So it's completely like outside my major. I'm like, oh, do I just take math for leaders and call it? But like, no. No, don't take math for leaders. Everybody says it's really hard. It's, I never took it, but it's I like a weird. stats. It's like a, yeah, I think you should. Because if stats is with McCoy, he's a great teacher. Yeah. But math for leaders is like a weird math class it's not like normal math that you think of like don't algebra. you just go through all of it yeah like, it's weird it's I like word know. problems and stuff and i'm so bad not at word the problem. word problems yeah. no <laughs> they're awful did you have to take a lot of math classes for bio yeah kind of okay. i took um i probably i think it took four four Oof. math classes i took stats stats wasn't bad at all i like i actually liked stats stats is mid uh, my high school didn't have good stats teachers, so I just yeah. never took it. I didn't take a math my senior year, so I'm coming in at college. I'm like, I have not taken a math in yeah. two years. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, but that's exciting. So just overall, kind of like kind of like reflecting on your time at Penn, what has been your favorite part about your major? Like what has been something really cool about it? Um, probably just meeting all the different professors. They're all yeah. very different. So Pete, um, he I was like, I think he's the executive chair for like the biology yeah. department he's so fun he's kind of more of like wildlife biology and so he would take yeah. us like fishing and he, that's he the one that does the Northwoods tripper yes, right yeah, yeah he's, the he's one up to Minnesota the shorter guy with the gray hair beard he's so he's yeah. awesome and he's just so nice and he like we would just go on like f- we'd go fishing and we just learn like he's so passionate about what he's doing so that's awesome but then I would also like have classes with, like Dr. Ewer who was the sweetest lady you'd ever meet yeah and it's just fun kind of just like the different dynamic personalities that we have yeah. in the like kinesiology department and I also love Nunez and um Sissel she was here she used to be in my advisor but she's not here any longer but oh. just people like that is just awesome I think that's yeah. probably my favorite part and just kind of wrapping up about like all my questions about Penn what mm-hmm. is like what has been your favorite aspect out of all five mm-hmm. years like what has been your favorite part what makes you want to like what made you love this school definitely the people the people have made it yeah so like just awesome and like i think everybody says that like william pin here is a community yeah it's and a we're a family like nick rule so much credit to that man he, he does so, so much hard. yeah and he's just he's awesome baby and number two on the way yes, like, oh my gosh i know and it's just the people here just yeah. awesome like they hire i think they hire people that have good intentions mm-hmm. i think that they really care about student athletes mm-hmm. and it's just, and like even like i will because obviously i've always been a student athlete so i don't know like from like just like a yeah. normal student point of view but i think that it's just awesome i think he's done a great job the people here and they just they mean a lot to me so that's really well said so thank you I'll pass the sappy stuff um <laughs> i've got a couple thi- couple little like mm-hmm. things for you so we're gonna do this or that and then we have a speed round of questions okay awesome pretty easy 
So I have like three this or that questions just because like you like volleyball enough. Yeah. I'm like, you probably will follow college. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a couple D1 volleyball teams I made a list of, and it's going to be this or that. So I'm going to start off. You ready? Yep. This or that, Louisville or Wisconsin? Louisville. Okay. I wanted them to win the Natty last year so bad. Oh, was, like, they were so close. Yes, they were. They were so good. Anna DeBeer, most underrated player in the Insane. And she's amazing. Best yeah. six rotation outside I've ever seen. All right. Pitt or Texas? Pitt. I don't like Texas. A two P. <laughs> All right. This one I already know the answer to, but I didn't know you love the Cornhuskers okay, as yeah. much beforehand. <laughs> so G Georgia Tech or Nebraska? Nebraska. Cool. The there way. was no. <laughs> yeah. And okay. This one's or Team USA or AU Pro. I like AU Pro because I know I'm like well like the U S like national team are like the I'm, know. I'm I know who they are like there's actually a lot of Husker people that um, course, are on the yeah. team like they're a libero and stuff like that mm -hmm. but I like the AU Pro just because it's kind of it's a newer thing I and I format. you don't like it, I hate it. I'm so sorry I didn't mean to cut you off <laughs> oh, no, but like I, for lacrosse mm -hmm. I hate it I can't cheer for my team because I I I've met a bunch of these people yeah. now and I'm like I love them and yeah. like it's great and I want them all to be on one team and I'm like this yeah. is not fair I don't like how much it switches mm -hmm. even though a goalie won this year and I'm a little biased because I'm a goalie I'm like <laughs> the points make no sense I don't understand that's funny <laughs> no yeah but volleyball it seems cool and I like the format because it allows you to see everybody yeah and that's yeah. kind of the thing is that like it's like great athletes from like every single college that yeah. maybe you didn't know about before you see them playing together and I think that's awesome yeah all right that's all my this or that question okay it's like, wait, if she likes volleyball, she'd probably ask about pro AU Pro. But speed round. These are hard-hitting questions. You're about to be, like, super shocked, right? Okay. Ready? What's your walk-up song? Oh, gosh. If you had to have Ooh. one, what would it be? Oh, my gosh. See, I'm definitely more of, like, a – I'm not, like, some type of hype music. It'd probably be something stupid, like, Call Me Maybe but like, Carly Rae Jepsen. That actually wouldn't be it. That would just be, like, my guilty pleasure. We, we stand, though. Yeah. I, I don't – I honestly don't know. There uh, was a, probably, like, a like a Rihanna song or something yeah. like that. There was like a girl <laughs> on my – who I played against in high school, their her scoring song was the Big Time Rush intro. Oh, okay, see, so like, like I like stuff like that, like goofy stuff like it that. It's annoying funny to me. after a while, though. After <laughs> she scored like for the fourth time, you hear oh 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 like, no more. <laughs> That's no. funny. Yeah. All right. Pre-game meal. Oh, um. So obviously I want to be a dietitian. So I usually the night before I'd always eat like some type of protein pasta. Yeah. And then like before we have a game, I'm always gonna eat like a bagel, um, Yum. banana, yeah, and like a protein smoothie, something like that. I love bananas, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Something like that. Post game meal. Um, probably pasta again. I love pasta. I make a lot yeah. of pasta. My fiance complains about it, but <laughs> I love it. Probably pasta for sure. All right. Any superstitions? Pre game. Oh no. No. See, I try not to. I'm just not a big believer in that. Like, I think that if you have a superstition, that's kind of just like in your head. You know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna like build yeah. yourself up so much, like I have to do this before a game, and you don't, then you're gonna play bad because you think that you need that. But I don't think you do. I personally <laughs> wear a headband, but okay. that's just like that's okay. I yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. It can match my helmet. All right. Other than Nebraska or Penn, favorite college team? Uh, Louisville. I love okay. them. I think, and that's just um, Danny Busboom Kelly. She's their head coach. She yeah. actually used to be an assistant coach in Nebraska. <laughs> and so, yeah, they're just John Cook is just amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think who else I really like. Um, I like Florida a lot. Mary Wise. She's oh, the we love yeah, Florida. She's the winningest coach, woman coach in D1 history. So I think that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know. That's, that's probably my my top three. I really awesome. love like the obviously like the female coaches is awesome. Mm -hmm. I think that they had in like. The Elite Eight this past year, I think four of those coaches were women, which is awesome. I think yeah, that was kind of like, a, awesome. like a, a trade, not a trademark, but like a mark in history. That yeah. was really cool. So reflecting on your five years here and like everything you said right now, it's just so cool. You're such an inspiration Thank for you. William Penn and you're such a leader on campus. Do you have any parting words for our listeners just so like, just to kind of like say something, like leave a message out there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would definitely just say... People, I think people are kind of oblivious to what, like, what they're doing. I think people need to realize that people watch you more than you think. Yeah. And I think it's just, like, really important to, like, your character is that, like, people really are watching you and, like, you want to be a person who people look up to. And so I think that is kind of, like, what I just, like, do to day to day is, like, yeah. being kind because I want to be, like, a leader in that way. And so just being as kind as you can because that really goes a long way. Like, you never really know what someone's going through. Mm -hmm. And just si simply, like, smiling at them or saying hi or complimenting them. I think that's just kind of, like, my thing. And, like, and getting involved, too. Just, like, having an identity outside of your sport is so important. Yeah. And be kind. <laughs> that was so well said. Thank well, you. thank you so much for coming on for Coffee with the Statesman. Uh, thank you to everyone who's listening, and we hope that you have a great day, and we'll see you all real soon. Thank you. Bye.